What is the best way to share? In last week's parasha of Vayeshev and at the beginning of this week's parasha of Miketz, we have three pairs of dreams. In the very first one, Yosef reveals his dreams to his brothers and he does this in order to show them how superior he is over them. They certainly got the message and as a result they engaged in an act of attempted fratricide. At the end of Parashat Vayeshev, with the second pair of dreams, Yosef correctly interprets the dreams of Pharaoh's butler and baker, and he says to the butler, when you emerge alive from this dungeon, please tell Pharaoh all about me. Save me from my fate. At the beginning of Parashat Miketz, Yosef now interprets Pharaoh's two dreams, and as a result, he is elevated out of the dungeon to become only second to Pharaoh in Egypt. Now, how did Pharaoh know that Joseph was someone whose word he could rely on? You see, this was the first occasion in which Joseph was involved in dreams and he was sharing valuable information unconditionally. On the previous occasions, he always had a personal agenda. However, on this occasion, when Pharaoh quizzed Joseph, Joseph said, it's Hashem who is correctly interpreting your dreams. He showed that he was a person of integrity and sincerity. There was no agenda. He didn't want to receive anything in return. He was sharing out of concern and out of empathy and out of consideration. That is what impressed Pharaoh. That's what enabled him to know that here was a person whose word he could rely on. So the message for us is that when we have something to share, it could be an object, it could be a gift, it could be knowledge. If we have an agenda, we don't stand to benefit from what we are doing. But when we're there for the sake of others and when we share unconditionally, that is when we stand to receive the most. Shabbat Shalom.